Hello again. In this video, we're going to learn about array indexing. Um, array indexing is about accessing elements of an array. So let's create a Python notebook for that and start from there. Let's call this array indexing. Right, let's create um, a simple NumPy array. Let's import NumPy as np the usual way, shift enter, um, and then let's for example say um, <clears throat> I have an array that's let's convert it from a list and let's fill this like with some some random numbers, floating numbers or integers, doesn't matter. Okay, and now let's get an array out of that. Arr equals mp dot array so to transform or to get an array out of that list and now um, if I show the array elements it look like that if I'd like to access any of these elements uh, I need its index and usually uh, in Python the, ar the array index starts at zero so if this array has how many elements one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then they will go from zero to nine the first element will have index zero the last element will have index nine so i can say arr square brackets of zero and that gives me back the first element and if i say array arr of nine it gives me back the last element so it's always from zero to n minus one where n is the num is the number of elements in that array. Uh, if I wanted to uh, check the array le uh, length or the rest, I like to say len, and that should give me 10, or like we uh, saw last time uh, in the previous video, we can, for example, um, maybe check the shape, and that's one dimensional array, which is a vector. Um, if it's two dimensional, then maybe let's say, for example, if it's 10 by 10, then 10 times 10 gives me 100, that's 100. The overall elements in the array would be 100 and so on and so forth, right? Uh, there's a lot of interesting things about array indexing in, in, in NumPy. Another another interesting one, for example, is having um, sort of a range of elements. So if I say, give me a range from two to five, so two colon five, shift enter, that gives me array element two, so zero, one, two, three, four, and it does not give me five. So it gives me two, two, five minus one, right? So from if, I, if, if it was um, array of A to B, and A, a and B are the elements I chose, then effectively I will get elements from A to B minus one. The, the element at the B index will not be included. I hope that makes sense. So from two to five, it gives me number two, three, four, and then number five, is not included right so it's open-ended uh, that's one interesting thing and in fact I can even change um, update the value or change the value at any index so if I say arr of 3 equals 33 0 1 2 3 so the original value is 56 if I update it now and then I show the value it'll be 33 it'll be updated right um, and again, I can also update a range of values, so I can say ARR of, for example, 1, 2, 3, elements 1 and 2 only, equals 44. The two elements will be changed, so element number 1 and element number 2 will be changed. Notice I say number 1, meaning at index 1, not the first element. The first element is at index um, 0, right? Uh, another interesting thing is we can have a slice uh, of the array. So let's call it array slice, meaning I can have like a slice or a chunk of the array equals, um, let's say something like ARR of between three and eight, All right? So if I if I show that, then 33, mm -hmm. 78, mm -hmm. 80, uh, 89, 4.5, and 34. Um, Again, I can also change the values um, of these guys because now ARR is a subarray. Sorry, Q 
control C to copy because I'm using virtual box. Um, AR of zero is going to be 33, and I can. Uh, and by the way, if I use colon only, if you remember when we used the range, if I use colon only, that gives me all the elements into in, in that array, right? Uh, if I say um, if I leave the the, the beginning uh, empty and say from to like let's say for example three, then that goes from the zero to the third element, right? Zero, one, two. Yeah. So if you leave it, that means it's from the beginning. And if you put something there and you leave this empty, then it means it's until the end. It's until the end. Seventy eight, eighty nine, four point five and uh, for uh, thirty four. So what I can do here is I can change all these elements. So I can say array slice. Basically, all of the elements in array slice, I want them to be equal minus one, for example, right? And then if I display array slice, I get minus one for all the elements, right? Now let's have a look at the original array. What happens now? You notice that the elements that we sliced have been actually updated and this can have advantages and disadvantages depending on how you see it or when and where and how you're going to use it right so we've not when we made the slice we've not made an independent copy you know we're just referring to the same elements we're still referring to the same elements in that array if i if we want to make a different copy another copy then we can use the, the function copy there's a function called copy that we can use and that's this will give us a different another array which is a copy of the of the of, of the one that we copied but if we update the second array then the first array will not be updated one example is um the rr2 of 3 so the fourth element equals 55 let's say the fourth element here is 0 1 2 3 it's a minus 1 if i display uh, ar2 then it'll be uh, 55 as we change that right hope makes sense let's stop here and see you next time